Hello. Hello from Design Automation Conference 14 in San Francisco. I'm very happy to be with a European company, not so many. And maybe you know also that design and reuse is not focusing only on IP. And we are very interested by intelligent and new design flows. So today I'm with a company called Codasip. And Codasip uh, will speak about the interesting topic, which is delivering the power of ASIP with the simplicity of standard processors. And the, my speaker is Nail Hand, which is VP Marketing and Business Development. And it's my pleasure to listen to you about this interesting topic. Gabriel, thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, Codasip, it's a Czech-based company, as you mentioned, European. And it's, they've got a very interesting technology. You know, what our technology is, is we allow people to specify what's called ASIPs, application-specific instruction set processes. So this is the idea of optimizing an application by giving unique um, instructions in there. So if you have a vision application or a sensor processing application, you can give some new instructions, and as a result, you can get significant speed up. You know, an example that we have on our demo on the booth here is at, for Sobol Edge Detection, we're adding just a couple of instructions to the processor, was able to speed it up by 5x, which is a huge power and performance advantage. Now, ASIPs are not new. ASIPs have been used for a while. You know, anyone who's using a modern cell phone has a number of ASIPs in there, whether it be for the video encoding and decoding, the wireless modems, any number of applications in there are using ASIPs. The challenge has been that only the biggest development teams could actually adopt them because of the complexity of using them. It, designing the processor, it turns out, is the easy part. The harder part is building a software environment that the, that the developers can use, building the verification models the verification team can use, and the virtual platforms. And this complexity has really meant that only the really, really big users could actually adopt ASIP. And what we've been able to do at Codasip is we, can, we, we have a language called CODAL, and you specify the instruction set of the processor in CODAL, and it goes into CODASIP Studio, and it not only does the high-level synthesis for the processor itself and generate RTL that customers can use, but it also automatically generates a complete open-source tool chain for the processor that you've developed using LLVM um, and GNU GDB and other open source libraries. So people can now easily program that processor in their standard embedded development environment, which is huge. It means that you can optimize a processor and without any additional effort you can start using it. So it's a very powerful technology. And then in addition to the tool chain, we go a step further and we also automatically build the virtual prototyping models. So the processor mod models, you know, the verification models, everything is generated from this single source. So someone who wants to, to use ASIP that would normally not be possible, they can easily start with the processor and move forward from there. And since starting from a blank page can also be difficult sometimes if you're not a processor expert, we have a number of reference IP cores, um, a DSP, a VLIW, and a RISC core, and people can start with that, run their application on it, profile it, understand where it needs new instructions and enhancements, add it in and get a whole new process to develop. So it's a very, very powerful platform that lets people, as, as you said in the opening, you know, delivers the power of ASIP to people when, uh, with the simplicity of using a standard processor and development environment. Okay, it looks really fascinating and we wish you really a long, long, long track of success and design and reuse will help you. Sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.